So when Jesus was walking on the earth and he was feeling the groan of the people and even his own groan that it would be on the earth as it is in heaven and he taught us to pray in that context, it wasn't a new prayer for Jesus. It wasn't a new idea that it would be on the earth as, as it is in heaven. It was something that he always wanted. Even at creation, it was his desire. He wanted it to be on the earth as it is in heaven. And as we fell from that place of being the primary representatives of God who would bring his government, it was always his ache throughout all of the scripture that it would be on the earth as it is in heaven, which is why he established the tabernacle of Moses and the tabernacle of David. It was always to be that reflection of heaven. And the Bible's clear actually that Moses caught a glimpse of the tabernacle. The book of Hebrews tells us that, that Moses saw the pattern on the mountain. He, he saw the dwelling place of God. And, and it's clear that David beheld him in his sanctuary. And so we get this idea that, wow, David saw heaven, Moses saw heaven, and we know that John saw heaven, Isaiah saw heaven, and we get this glimpse of what that looks like. But then when Jesus comes, he's, he says, no, you are the dwelling place of God, and I'm gonna tear down this temple and build it again in three days, and I'm gonna build it in you because I'm gonna transform your heart. And so the question is, even as we ache and groan in this hour of our own lives and human history, how do we live the on earth as it is in heaven reality? And we really pattern it after heaven. We pattern it after what God was thinking and feeling. And we see four dynamics. As John sees heaven, as Isaiah saw heaven, we see these, uh, we, we see the way that God arranges or, or orchestrates his government. And we see four components specifically that we want to look at over the next few weeks that I believe impact us today. And that is that God is at the center of that government. He's at the center of all things. There are four living creatures who are like the worship leaders of heaven. There are 24 elders. There are human leaders at the center of God's government. We're gonna look at how, uh, how that is so remarkable for us. And, and then we look at the fact that the worship in heaven never stops. And so he's invited us into being that very dwelling place of God, no longer the tabernacle of Moses, no longer the tabernacle of David, not Solomon's temple, but human beings, men and women like you and me, who can live on earth as it is in heaven. And the answer to the ache of the globe, the answer to the nation's raging is Jesus said as the great king, but the Bible is so clear that when the kingdoms of this world become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ, that's one day that we're looking for in the future, we're going to rule and reign with him. But we're not just waiting for that day. We're actually entering into that reality right now. We can be the very dwelling place of God. We can bring his kingdom even now. We can be the presence of God even now in our own lives, everywhere we go, we can, we can bring that reality to the earth. And so we wanna look over the next weeks at how you and me in different places around the world can bring the very government of God, can be the answer to the ache and the groaning, even as all creation is groaning, for you and me to be revealed, we can bring that answer even today as we long for the day that Jesus comes. So, so journey with us, partner with us over the next few weeks as we look at that ache in God's heart, the ache in our heart, that it would be on the earth as it is in heaven.